What's going on guys? Welcome back to City Skylines After Dark. Um, uh, first of all, I just want to take care of this real quick. Um, what did I do the right thing? Nope, I did exactly what I was trying not to do in the previous in the previous video. So what you want is to have your fresh water pumping station in a uh clean location where there's no pollution like here and you want your dirty water drain pipe in a location where there and then we need to let's see hook this one up this is why probably why people were upset they were literally drinking their own shit uh, as people pointed out in the in the previous video so getting rid of that and all right Let's see if they will start feeling better. Uh, all right, we already saw all the chirpies. All right, so that's that's definitely something that I screwed up in the previous video. Um, see, I was I was thinking about it. I was actually doing it consciously. Just, I I guess I thought I had a different building selected, but no, they were all drinking their own poo poo for a while. That's pretty gross. And also totally on me. So let's see, industry. There's still some uh, demand for industry. There we go. We already made quite a bit of it. This whole area is basically going ignored right now. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm sure that you know eventually it'll be it'll be fixed. And I'm also pretty excited to see all the new stuff that was introduced. I don't know if it's like water treatment plant. That was in the first game. So basically to see everything that we can do now, we need to get more citizens. So that is what we will uh, try and focus on a bit. All right, nice two-way street. So I guess what I could do is go like this and then that and then like this. And this way, we have a whole another neighborhood that we can use to, um, let's see. Okay. Yep, I will connect a one-way street this way. So that if people want to go from here to there, they actually have an easier way of getting there. And I'm just going to put a bunch more residential in this neighborhood right here. I will probably leave a spot open for a park. Uh, I know that we don't have access to parks quite yet, but I usually like leaving things like that open. Uh, another thing that I'd like to be able to do, here we go. Two little, okay, that's, I think there's this little walking path that you can really only make when you have access to parks. So we need, we need to uh, get a lot further until we can actually do this. Um, yeah, here we go. So we need a, a population of about 1,500 before we can actually think about even putting in parks. I guess we will find out. All right, this looks good, though. The road still looks pretty big to me, although I guess this may be like a normal road. Yeah, that actually does look pretty normal. Suburb road. All right. The industry is working. Uh, I'm not earning any money yet, but yep, uh, now I am. That's great, because I really needed to earn some money. I basically spent all my money on all kinds of different things, including the wasted pump that I made. So I'm just glad that uh, I'm starting to earn a little bit now. Alright, that's looking good. We're, we're getting more and more citizens every day. Got a lot of wind over here. Uh, traffic looking just fine. There's a bit of a traffic situation over here, but I can't fix that. Uh, because that's just a small road. I guess I could upgrade it, but it's outside of my territory, so I could really only upgrade this part, which would make no sense, so... Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that and just see what happens. Look at this place. There's three households living here. It's 11 people. Looks very nice. I like it. Hickory residents. All right, we obviously do want um, the land value to go up over here, but I'm not sure that I can 
fix that right now. All I have at my disposal is just power, water, and actual zoning and roads, and that's pretty much it. So I guess I just gotta wait. Um, all right, look at that. Industry is starting to, uh, yes, yeah, little hamlet. All right, we reached a population of 460. We now have access to garbage, healthcare, and education, which are all quite important. We can get loans and taxes. Um, yeah, so we actually have access to a bunch of more different taxes. And, oh, here we go. Normal tax. All right, so we can tax industry more, for example, and people less. I'm pretty sure that that will get more people to the city. Just correct me if I'm wrong. And we can now take loans. I would prefer not to take one, though. Here we go. They're complaining for a little bit about their sewage, but it's fixed. And power is apparently now an issue. Guess we gotta fix that. Like so. How much is this anyway? 6,000, all right, that's a lot of money, but you know, we need it. We also gotta fix this uh, area over here. That should do it. So now they can get rid of their dirty water and they have access to clean water as well. Fully manned scientific station. I want to read this. Built at the bottom of the sea. Famous film director among the funders. Deep sea mission. All right. Still no industry over here. This is actually the area that I was planning on making a very big um, industry area, but apparently there is no demand for it. At least people don't really seem to care. This area is doing quite nice. We got a lot of people moving in. I guess I'll just fill that in for now as well. Let's take a look at the satisfaction. Still at 32%. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I guess the smiley face means that at least it's going up, but it's still pretty low. 33% is not good at all. So a bit of pollution, obviously, in the industrial area. All right, so first things first, I, th I feel like we should get a clinic to take care of my citizens. Um... So if I put that here, that should be able to take care of pretty much everyone. And it will increase the uh, overall land value over there. And then we also want a landfill. Let's just put that in the nice and, you know, dirty part of town where nobody likes to go. Slope too steep. Alright, let's see. It's going to be very, very dirty. Oh, God. I wish I could just put it over here, but the road is a little too in the way. One thing that I could maybe do is just get one of these. I don't have the money for this. It's actually quite expensive. All right. So I guess our first landfill for now will just be uh, right here. All right. Let's just make sure we keep it away from people. All right. There you go. We got a landfill now. People can actually get rid of their garbage. Uh, healthcare for everybody. Citizens flock to get treatment for various ailments. This should be, or the clinic should be a, uh, a really good thing for the people. They should be pretty happy about that, I think. We're still at 34, but... I'm sure that this will go up. Uh, education is not available quite yet. We are gonna make a school soon, I promise. We have some noise pollution over here. Uh, but there's not too many people living there, so I'm sure they're okay with it. Outside connections, so we are importing some products over here. We have no exports right now. Alright, so everybody's kind of importing stuff for now. We don't really have access to our own uh, production. Let's see, what else did I miss? Health. Health is still pretty okay. We just need to make sure we get some more uh, clinics eventually. I'm sure we'll get there. And we're earning more money now, which is great. Uh, let's see. All right, I'll put some more homes over there. <clears throat> I could put some homes right here as well. It's probably not ideal. But uh, let's give it a shot either way. It should be pretty noisy over there. So we definitely want to... Maybe plant some trees or something there to uh, make it less annoying to them. And then in the residential neighborhoods, there's not too much noise. Obviously, this is extremely noisy. And people over here are asking for workers. Ice cube factory. 
Box factory, yeah, they need workers, so what we need is more people. Basically. Let's get some people here as well. I'm gonna do my signature gravel road. I always like doing this for some reason. I just think it looks cool. So just go like that. And then zone all of this residential. And we've got all these sweet little homes. Basically, trailer trash will move in there. But I don't know. I always think it looks kind of kind of neat. And earning more and more money. More and more people moving in. We need, uh, let's see, 950 to get policies, districts, and all that. I actually really, really like districts in this game. Oh, here we go. Can we all get rid of our dirty water? I think we got everything covered, so that should be okay. There's no power here, apparently. Oh, God, we're going to run out of power soon. Yeah, we could get a cool power plant or a... It does produce a lot more power, but it's extremely, you know, dirty. Because you're burning coal, it's probably not very good. But we're running out of power. Alright, so what I think I'll do... Alright, let's make this... Uh, let's see... Alright, so this is one way. I just want to get a normal road. I want to utilize... Um, let's see, alright, I'm just going to go th straight through here. Alright, let's make it straight, that's fine. Are you kidding me? How is that out of city limits? You tell me. Forcing me to do this. Alright, let's go like that. <clears throat> and then we'll go like this, and then connect it over there. And it looks good. Uh, all that's missing is a sweet gravel road. Right there. And we will make, let's see, let's make this residential. And the stuff at the edge here. And also this. We are basically utilizing all the space there, so that's good. Yeah, we're out of power. We need money. So I could either wait until I get my money, or I could just take out a loan. Which is super easy in this game. It's actually very easy to pay it off as well, so... I'm totally cool with that. I'm just going to get a second one of these. Boom. And then I'm going to save up money for a coal generator or whatever that's called. And let's see. All right. So we'll get some more shops here. I say maybe get some shops over th here as well. Something like that maybe. And then we'll make this residential. Uh, let's see. Gravel road. All right, let's go like that. That's actually pretty nice, yeah. I will make that residential. All right, so we got some more residences opening up, some more shops here and there. People are moving into this area now, which is cool. Let's see, maybe just make this, an, it's a normal road. Yeah, we can probably connect it like this. Nope, doesn't work either. This one little corner thing is completely useless. Alright, so... Yeah, let's just hook it up over here. Although that will probably cause a lot more traffic. Alright, we do want to make a one-way if we do this. Boom. That looks super dumb. But at the same time, kind of cool. So, I'll take it. There we go. We got no water in this new area. Fixed it. I'm just very glad you can't actually see your water pipes when you're above ground because mine always looked ridiculous and super ugly. So, that's good. Come on, I need money for my coal power plant. I need 19,000 bucks. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to save up some money for now. I can get some commercial zoning over here. Let's get some over there. Uh, some over here as well. I just gotta make sure that I leave some room for my road up here, because I'll probably, you know, pull this road over there, and then go south again. So, this should work. Alright, so we, we should have some more shops soon. 
Let's see if this will work. I also just now realized that we probably should have made an easier way for the industry vehicles to get to the industry stuff. Um, you know, what I'd love to do is to put like a nice, you know, something like this. But it's out of the city limit, so I'm not allowed to do it. But if I could, then people arriving here could just go like this and then go over there and they'd be, you know, they'd be in the industry area and they would have to, um, go around like that because I could actually enact a policy that says, hey, no heavy industry vehicles over here and it would save everybody a lot of headache. Oh, people are starting to get happier now. That's good. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Low density. I don't know why they're not happy. Probably because nobody lives there. These people are not super happy either. Probably because of noise pollution or something. Nope, noise, noise pollution isn't even that bad. I guess it's just um, land value. That's pretty low there. We can't see land value yet, which is kind of a bummer. See, we're going to start to run out of power again. We really do need a, a coal power plant at the start of the game, at least. Later on, you get more ways to use uh, green energy, like advanced wind turbines. Uh, there's obviously solar panels as well, solar power plant, which are also quite good. I also like the dam. I don't know if it's... Yeah, there we go. The hydro power plant's also pretty good. No pollution. Uh, nuclear power plant, also, also pretty good. Um, but at the start of the game, you really are quite dependent. Oh, look at this. The industry area actually does look very, very polluted. Maybe that's just the lighting, but it just did not look like this uh, before, to me at least. Look at this sweet city. That looks nice. I also want to see, uh, let's see, there was a depth of field. Honestly, I think this looks way better with the whole depth of field removed. It has a nice sort of, you know, filmic look to it, but still, I prefer the actual, um... Oh, that's what I was hovering over. Alright. I just prefer the actual way that it looks. Yes, Worthy Village. We now have districts, policies, a second loan. Specializations, unique buildings, fire department, forestry, agriculture, uh, smoke detectors, firehouse, police station. So there's a couple of things that we can now do. Uh, what is that? Industrial? Alright, so we could actually make this industry into something else. Let's see, outside connections and natural resources. We do have some forest, mostly in this area. There's some oil there as well. I'll probably buy that plot of land. Uh, there's some fertile land here. What I think we should do is probably get some roads and just make a farm on this area. Uh, but before we do that, let's get a coal power plant. Which is going to be absolutely disgusting. But at least it'll get us the power that we need. And let's make this our industry district. There we go. All of this will be our industry district, and it'll be called Belmont Heights, apparently, which honestly sounds far too fancy for a bunch of industry. And we'll just make, uh, let's see. All right, I think I'll make this a separate district because it's so close to the industry and just sort of, there we go. All right, so this will be Primrose Park. And then all the other stuff, sort of like that, I guess. Yep, all this will be our big, uh, small residential district. Let's see. All right. Dean Park. Sweet. Uh, now we have education. They want me to make a, an elementary school. Can't really do that right now because I was trying to get some sweet farms going over here, but apparently it's night now and I can't really see, so that'll have to wait until morning. Okay. Happiness still going up, still looking pretty good. So that'll be our first... Oh god, there's a fire here. Thing is, we don't have a fire department yet. And that'll actually cost me most of my money to make. 
All right, so smoke detector distribution. Let's do that everywhere. It'll cost me a bit more money, but at least we get... Um, let's see, we'll get less fires. So with water and power, you will actually reduce your consumption of electricity and water. And it'll cost you like a little bit of money, but honestly, I, th I feel like it'd be way safer to do this. And apparently I'm losing a lot of money right now. All right, so maybe it's a bit too expensive to go all out and do all of these at once. Let's start with the smoke detectors. Oh God, why am I losing this much money? Is it all because this thing is on fire? Maybe it's the, um... All right, so that obviously is costing me a lot of money every week. I guess we're gonna have to increase taxes, everybody. We have no choice. Uh, oh, so at night I actually spend more money on... Yep, this is my bad. I thought I was taxing it, but I was setting a budget. So at night you really need less water and, and energy, I guess. Uh, that should make sense though, right? I guess we'll see. I'm just waiting for the... Alright, so the income is starting to go up again. All right, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. In the next part, we will probably make our bridge and start a nice farming district over here. I always very like, uh, very much like the farming district things because uh, it looks very nice. And we'll, we'll get that set up over here probably. And we'll try to get more people and more money. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.